Katie, Chef Wendy's made a fresh coffee cake. Can I offer you a piece? Well, that sounds amazing. But but the truth is that I'm here to speak with you. Um, when is your break? Edie, cover for me. I'm taking a break. This, what, what is this noise? Uh, what is this? It's the furnace. It's fine, Katie. Calm down. I, I don't want to get you in trouble with your boss, okay? There's no problem there. I should have took a break an hour ago, but the red hat ladies came here on a bus, baited the whole place. What do you need? Okay, look, I understand you to be a woman who has her finger on the pulse of the county. Oh, yeah, I like to keep up with the current events. All right, then. How about, are you a woman with your finger on the pulse of the historical events of this county? Like what? I have stumbled across a mystery in one of Abdella's journals. Mystery, I love a mystery. I know, right? <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> well, anyway, what is created is 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 the scenario in which I need to solve this mystery. And, and the best way to describe it is that I, I, I've got to have a little tiny, just a peek at what's in Aunt Ella's medical records. Well, you need to talk to Dr. Cornell. You know, I, I transcribed some medical records of his father's a few years back, put them on the computer. You transcribed them? Oh, <laughs> Well, yeah, it's a little sideline job I have. You know, to help pay his bills. So do you know where his records are? Oh, they're, they're locked up tight. You'd think it was the whole diamond, the way he's got them secured. So what did he do with the paper records? It was the darndest thing, you know. I was supposed to shred them when I finished. Are they gone? Not exactly. You know, like I said, I was supposed to shred them. But my shredder kind of went on the fritz and... I just didn't get around to it. So you're telling me that you know where all of Dr. Cornell Sr.'s 1956 medical records are? Oh my gosh, Norma, you are amazing. I have 